I'm Maggie Holper for DIY Style and I've designed this really cool bag for us to do today. So we've got this great bowling style bag. It's very popular right now. Got your outside pocket for everything you want to carry and got your really cool straps and exposed zipper. A little bit of embroidery on the top. And we've used some additional Velcro brand fasteners inside to create a detachable cell phone pocket. And we've got your larger pocket for any little goodies you want to carry. For this project, you're going to need one yard of your main fabric. You're going to need two yards of whatever fabric you want to use for contrast and possibly lining. Then you need a 20 inch Coates and Clark heavy duty zipper. You need two thirds yards of fabric fusion Velcro fastener your dual duty XP thread, one yard of a stiff, hopefully double-sided fusible interfacing, one third yard of a medium weight craft fuse interfacing, one sheet of needlepoint canvas, two and a third yards of webbing, and a medium safety pin and 10 inches of ribbon. And of course, we always need the kit. So I did monogramming on my bag, and so if you're going to do machine embroidery, there's three additional supplies that you need. You're gonna need Sulky Totally Stable Iron-On Tearaway Stabilizer. You're gonna need Sulky Bobbin Thread and your coordinating color of Sulky Rayon Embroidery Thread. Your pattern pieces will be on a grid and you'll need to enlarge them. And this is about what they'll end up looking like. There's pattern pieces for your front and back panel, your side panels, and for the outside pocket. So I've already cut and interfaced all of my pieces. I've used the lightweight interfacing for the top piece and the side panels. And we've used our thicker interfacing that is double-sided. So we have our lining and our outside fabric attached to it. And next thing we're gonna do is the straps. Okay, for our straps, you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise, pin it. And we're gonna sew this strap with a half inch seam allowance. Sew until you get to the other end. I'm trimming down my seam allowances to reduce bulk. Now that I have trimmed my strap, I am going to turn it. You can either use a large safety pin or I like using a turner. You feed your turner all the way through your strap and when you get about an inch away from the end, then you're gonna use the rod and tuck that end in. But make sure you don't go through the opening. Gently pull your fabric over itself. As you can see, a safety pin would do just fine, but this is a lot faster. Now it's time to attach your straps. So you're going to take your pattern piece for your front and back, and you're gonna make markings where this set of lines is. That's your stitching line for your straps. So mark the top and mark the sides of where your straps go. Once you've removed that, you have the perfect guide for placing the ends of your straps. We're gonna attach our straps now where we had marked. And the top marking, we're gonna mark it with our finger and then we're gonna place tape right underneath that marking. This will be your guide for the stitching line. You'll stitch right at the top here. Also, make sure that these pieces of tape line up so your stitching lines are gonna be level. For attaching our straps, we're gonna use a smaller seam allowance. You can use somewhere between an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch. We're just top stitching it down. So we go down one side, but now I've gotten to the top of the tape, so I wanna make sure to turn it and stitch across here, but don't go all the way. Give yourself that same amount of seam allowance you need on the other side and turn it and you're ready to go. So now you can see I've completed the stitching on this one. If you'd want to go over it again to reinforce it, you can. And when you're ready, switch and do the same thing on the back panel of your purse. Now we're ready for our pocket. I've already got mine folded in half and pressed, and I'm ready to top stitch it at a quarter inch from the fold. Now that we've finished both our pockets, we're ready to attach them. One of our pockets is gonna be a front pocket, so we'll place it on top of the front side. The second pocket is gonna be on the inside, so we're going to place it on the lined side. So now that I've pinned my pocket onto the front of the bag, I'm gonna stitch it in a basting stitch to the sides. For our basting stitch, we're increasing our stitch length to about a four and a half or five. So it's one that could be easily pulled out. And we're gonna stitch at a quarter inch seam. Baste the other pocket the same way as this one. 
So on the inside of our front piece, we are attaching Velcro so that we can have all of our different fun pockets. We've each got their own little Velcro pieces. We used Fabric Fusion Velcro, a fusible Velcro that can just iron on your project. You can find the directions for these pockets on DIYstyle.net. I've stitched on my bottom by attaching it right sides together. Now we're ready for the top panel of my bag. If you would choose to do embroidery, this would be the time to do it. And make sure though you do it before interfacing this top piece. 